Gibran Nuzaifa from Indonesia, CEO and co-founder of eFishery, a startup that focuses on building technology for fish and shrimp farming business, from IoT solution to financing to feed distribution and online fish marketplace. So before I started eFishery, I was a fish farmer myself when I saw a fundamental issue of the sector. In Indonesia, fish needs to be sold alive. So if you are a fish farmer and your fish reach a certain harvest size that the market prefers, you have to sell the fish right away. And that's why farmers need middlemen. There are four to five middlemen uh, from the farmer's level to the end consumer, which spread the risk of the inventory to selling the live fish in the short time period. And this was all okay until the COVID-19 happened. More than 50% of the fish is consumed through the restaurants and the small food vendors, which were closed during the lockdown. Due to this, the middlemen stopped buying fish from the farmers because they don't want to take the inventories of selling the fish alive. And the farmers take the whole damage. They can't sell the fish at all. And because of this, the, far, the price on the farmers level down by half. And I see with my own eyes how the fish farmers, the food producer, one of the most essential workers, can barely buy the, their own food and had to sell their fish at loss. Luckily, in the household level, the fish consumption is actually increased. But if, but if this keeps happening, we won't have enough fish farmers that survive this period, which then put the whole sector and food supply at risk. So the key thing is how to assure that the key players can stay afloat during this crisis. So how do we do that? First, we buy the fish from the farmers at a normal price. Second, we process it and freeze it which extends the lifetime of the products from two to three days to 12 months. And third, we work with the restaurants and the small food vendors to provide seasonings and co-branding so they can generate revenues during the lockdown by selling a ready to cook fish throughout our channel. Also, we work with the government and other institutions to distribute the fish to health workers and informal workers that are impacted the most during the COVID-19. So with this model, we can help both fish farmers families and the food small business to survive, which then sustain the fish production and supply chain. And then we can also provide high quality and affordable protein supply for those who need it the most. While as a bonus, if we succeed, we might reinvent the fish value chain for good. We plan to distribute and purchase 3,000 of fish over the next three months. And on behalf of fish farmers communities in Indonesia, I want to thank Barclays and Unreasonable to be part of these initiatives. Thank you.